So, welcome to the introduction to the Troika Systems Plate to Print HD for measuring mask, plate and printed materials. First, a quick description of the plate to print device itself. As you can see, a small handheld device, built-in focusing ring, illumination and connected with a USB cable to your computer. The device is designed for quick, accurate analysis of mask, plate and print. And this avoids the normal arguments uh, within pre-press and press environments where trying to analyse the source of the error in printing is often difficult and very subjective. So let's make a start. First of all, I'm going to measure a mask. Of course, the mask is created to uh, manufacture the plate. And what I want to do is place that on the 50% region and configure the material. Once I'm configured, I can then measure my dot percentages. So here I'm looking at my 1% dot. Spacebar will analyze the image. If I just move the camera out of the way, my 1% reads as 1.5. If I look at my 10% area and analyze, that reads at 11.5. And I will take up to 50%. And analyze that in fact that's 88.5 percent so a disastrous plate of course uh, from there so now I know this information I can confirm whether that is correct or incorrect before I start manufacturing my plate if I've got an incorrect uh, mask I need to re-engineer that I cannot possibly make the plate accurately if the mask is not accurate so a very simple and very quick and easy way of controlling the regularity of my plate mask. Let me now just close these and turn on our camera again. And here what we want to look at is the plate material resulting from that. So there are two things here. One is the plate material itself and what we want to measure in here is just the step wedges running through the plate material. This is just a small sample, of course it can be analysed on a much larger plate. The device we're going to use to illuminate the plate material is here. and This has a small illumination device built in. And that allows us to accurately see the dot tops, uh, which without we cannot make the analysis. So first of all, let's change to plate mode. Okay. And if I show you first of all a conventional plate here and illuminate the lighting, can see that the plate is there but it's quite hard to measure accurately these dots here because of the color of the film and uh, the background and ambient lighting there's all affecting what we're actually seeing so what we've done is make that analysis much better and what we're doing there is allowing us to see these dots in a much brighter environment. So if I place my plate on here and turn our light source off, and now you can see the plates there. So what I need to do is remove the lighting from the camera and now you can see the micro architecture of the dots. Space bar and we'll just ignore this measurement here that was coming up from the last process we measured. But whereas before 
we used to have a long process of having to manually define the dots. And the result was variable, 27.3. It's not bad, certainly, but it is not altogether accurate. So if I clear these with the new feature of two-click fill, all I need to do is indicate the top of two adjacent dots. The software will automatically populate all of the whole dots in the display area and give us the correct percentage. In addition, we have the dot spacing and the dot diameter. And if we set that, we can then see all of that information regarding the media, test media, the operator, that's me, and any information we wish to put here. Now when I publish my results, I get a nice image of the plate plus the information relating to the media itself. So we say the customer name, the media, user, time, date, ruling, and importantly, the dot percentage. Any additional information we've placed there. So of course, if we wish to measure something else, then it's a very simple question of moving that along. If I look at a smaller dot pattern, that's 100%, so that's not really very useful. To our percentages along here. And you can see here, very small dot pattern indeed. If I analyze that, just one, two clicks, you can see all of the corresponding dots which are relevant and measured. And my 1% dot is in fact recorded at 1.4%. And again, I can make that information available. However, I want to compare these plates and quite often plate or press uh, operations I want to compare the details that they have when they reuse the plate. So let's have a look at that in job mode. I can create a setup which will record the different desired uh, percentages. That's simple to edit. Here we go. These are all of the ones I want to measure. And if I load a previously measured sample, and here's just a one color plate, and now we can show the graph to that. If I just make that larger so you can see that clearly, you can see these are the desired percentages and a nice linear bar through here. And these are the recorded percentages. And this is where we have the curve of the plate in terms of dot percentage. Of course, that's meaningless without some real numbers. So of course, under our results here, we will see the differing percentages according to what was requested. You can see this plate is perhaps underperforming uh, somewhat. Of course, we can export that data to any external program through a simple text file. So now we have a history of that plate. If I then want to show that plate after some time on press, I have a new replacement plate arrive, and I want to make sure that actually is exactly the same specification, then I can use the comparison mode. I select a plate and compare the results. Well, you can see this one's absolutely perfect. It's lining up exactly with the original plate. But if I had a deviation, and particularly if the plate is worn, then of course my dots will grow. So I would see rather than being at a percentage here, 
the plate dot will grow as it is worn down on the plate. And then I can judge whether that plate is suitable for reuse or not. A very simple and quick operation. So now let's look at our printed material. So if I close these and back into the camera again. So if I look at the camera and I have a, a simple piece of media here. So all I'm looking at is taking through the step wedge. This is an extended test piece, but normally on most flexo printing, we will have step wedges uh, around the uh, uh, main artwork and we can test for those percentage compliance. So again, let's place our camera and I'm going to start off in the 50% area. <coughs> Excuse me. So select print and now we can see that the print material is under the camera it's all live of course you can see here some issues my uh, dots are linking but that's uh, a, a different uh, situation i can configure for the media different medias and different colors so when i analyze the print automatically we will get a percentage of that and this is my mistake I configured it for the wrong one so let's uh, take that back again so here we are so we're reconfigured so let's analyze the image that we have here and my 50% dot is coming out at 60% fairly typical let's move down to our 20% dot and you can see that clearly there spacebar my 20% dot is coming out at 23. Move down to our 10% area. And we can see my 10% dot is actually printing at 14%. If I look down even further, and let's just go down to uh, my 2% area. And in fact, that's a printing at 4.5%. So I do have a, a possible issue there. Again, going right up to the top of the scale. So let's look at our 80%. It's actually printing at 89. And if we look at our 100% area, then 99.5. That's, that's not too bad at all, is it? So again, I can analyze all of this information in the job mode. And this time, what I'm looking at is print. OK, and I'm loading a previously done job for four color print. We can actually take a 10 color print and establish the colors that uh, we have in there. And then I want to show the graph. And here you can see each of the colors presented along here. I can turn these on or off and you can see I've got mask, the plate and the print. So I can do uh, some comparisons from my plate curve from my mask curve and from the print curve all on the same job it looks a nice graph and roughly the same but of course if we look at the data then we get a slightly different story you can see here that the yellow magenta and black are fairly consistent in their performance however it's fairly obvious here that in the small percentage area of the dots the cyan plate or cyan print is underperforming. Now this could be for several reasons, but the normal is that the uh, uh, nip pressure on press is not quite great enough, and therefore the dot gain not quite enough, and therefore again we will have an issue where uh, the print quality uh, may be subject to uh, uh, not obtaining the approval that we need. This is great. Now we've got some meaningful information uh, to show us everything that is there. Once we have this information, now we've got a clear position to be able to uh, analyze what we're doing and where we want to be on press. So thank you for your patience in this. It's good to see uh, we have a quick and easy tool to use. 
and please feel free to contact your dealer or agent for more information and pricing. Thank you.